Michelle has been on a journey with the Lord and has made some dramatic and real changes in her life. And you, want, you just want to share for a second? This is important to you, I know. <laughs> it really is. Um, my children were ready before I was. I came to the Lord first when I was 10 years old, lost and lonely. Uh, when we passed by a church and it had purple doors, and uh, I always thought, oh, that looks cool, it's purple. <laughs> and so um, my mother didn't take me, but I asked, it was about a mile down the road, and I asked her if I could walk to church. You know, can you imagine on a busy road, um, a parent allowing a child to walk herself at 10 years old a mile down a busy road? But she let me go, and Christ called me then, and that's when I was first saved. But as we moved away from that place, and I wasn't able to go any longer, um, slowly I walked away from the Lord. I've lived a life of extreme rebellion, and the more that I walked away from Him, the stronger He called me back. And so um, when we came to this church, um, I was convicted to start changing my life. Uh, one by one, took away every addiction, um, cigarettes, uh, alcohol, uh, drug use, uh, immorality, and uh, I was supposed to be baptized the last time, but I was still not ready. I was living a life with someone else, and I've changed that as well. Um, so. God commands me to uh, be baptized, and I want nothing more than obedience and to grow closer to Him and to live my life uh, in righteousness. Amen. Amen. Michelle, as a pastor of this church, I've seen the Lord do a lot in your life, and I've watched the transition. And uh, we've been waiting for this moment when we felt we could release you and the Lord as well to say, okay, um, it's time. And uh, according to your profession of faith in Jesus and your love for Him and commitment, obvious commitment to walk in obedience to the commands of the Lord, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I want you to stand with me right now, would you? And would you 